Apple's Mac Mini has always represented one thing, balance. It's the bridge between compact design and desktop power, between affordability and performance, and between creativity and practicality. But in 2025, as the M5 chip generation nears release, many are wondering whether Apple will take the next bold leap forward or play it safe with subtle updates. This new generation could mark a defining chapter in the Mac Mini's legacy, transforming it from a capable compact computer into a next-gen desktop powerhouse that rivals full-size systems in performance and efficiency. Let's dive deep into every leak, rumor, and realistic expectation surrounding the M5 Mac Mini 2025, from its chip performance and design evolution to storage, GPU improvements, pricing, and potential release timeline. A legacy of compact innovation. Since its debut in 2005, the Mac Mini has stood out as the smallest Mac ever. A desktop that could literally fit in the palm of your hand yet deliver desktop class power. Apple's goal was simple. To create an entry-level Mac for users who already owned a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Fast forward to 2025 and the Mac Mini has evolved into something far more ambitious a tool loved by professionals, developers, and even small studios looking for powerful computing in a minimalist form factor. The M4 Mac Mini redesign in late 2024 marked one of the biggest updates in over a decade. Apple finally refreshed the chassis after nearly 15 years, introducing a sleeker, smaller design, roughly half the size of its predecessor. It wasn't just about aesthetics. This redesign improved cooling efficiency, airflow management, and even reduced power draw, allowing the Mini to run faster and quieter than ever before. Priced at $599, the M4 model included 16GB of unified memory and 256GB of storage, which at the time felt like excellent value. But as 2025 unfolds, even those specs are beginning to feel outdated. That's where the M5 Mac Mini steps in. The M5 chip, a leap in power and efficiency. Apple's M5 chip represents the company's fifth-generation silicon built using TSMC's advanced 2-nanometer architecture. This transition from 3 nanometers to 2 nanometers may sound small on paper, but in practice, it's a monumental improvement. The M5 architecture aims to deliver 25 to 30 percent faster CPU performance, up to 35 percent more GPU efficiency, better thermal control, Longer sustained performance under load. The M5's 10-core CPU is rumored to retain a layout of six efficiency cores and four performance cores. But thanks to architectural tuning, performance gains are expected across the board. Multi-core benchmarks could rise around 25%, while single-core scores may improve 10 to 15%. For real-world users, this means faster rendering, smoother multitasking, and shorter compile times for developers, all while consuming less power. Apple's continued emphasis on machine learning, ML, and neural processing will also be key. The M5's upgraded neural engine could perform up to 20 trillion operations per second, enabling new on-device AI features in macOS 15 and beyond, from smart image generation to real-time translation, voice cloning, and AI-based audio processing. GPU upgrades, a long-awaited boost for creators. If there's one area where users have long asked Apple to improve the Mac Mini, it's graphics. The base M1 Mini launched with eight GPU cores, the M2 jumped to 10, and both the M3 and M4 stagnated at that level. Now, the M5 Mini could finally break this plateau. Leaks suggest Apple may bump the GPU core count to 12, providing a meaningful boost for users running GPU-intensive workflows, video editing, 3D rendering, coding visualizations, and light gaming. Apple's Metal 3 API paired with a 12-core GPU could bring smoother frame rates in creative apps like Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Blender, and better performance when exporting large 4K projects. This move would make the M5 Mini far more appealing to YouTubers, digital artists, and developers who previously needed to step up to the Mac Studio for heavier work. Goodbye, 256 gigabytes, the storage upgrade we've been waiting for. One of the biggest criticisms of the M4 Mini 
was its 256 gigabytes base storage. In 2025, when apps, projects, and system updates consume tens of gigabytes, that capacity feels far too small for professional use. Apple is reportedly eliminating the 256 gigabytes baseline in the M5 generation, standardizing 512 gigabytes SSD as the new minimum. That change alone makes the entry model far more future-proof, offering not just more capacity, but also faster SSD performance through enhanced PCIe 4.0 storage controllers. The higher inversions could include one terabyte, two terabytes, and four terabytes options, catering to both casual users and pro-grade workflows that require storing massive media libraries locally. Unified memory, still smart, still scalable. Apple's unified memory architecture, UMA, remains one of the company's greatest hardware advantages. By allowing the CPU, GPU, and neural engine to share the same memory pool, data moves faster and more efficiently than in traditional PCs. For 2025, memory configurations are likely to remain consistent. 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes on the base M5, while the M5 Pro Mini could offer 24 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes tiers. That gives users flexibility across workloads. Whether editing 4K footage, running large AI models, or managing multiple virtual machines. The M5 Pro Mini, a true desktop beast. Beyond the standard M5 Mini, Apple is also expected to release an M5 Pro version aimed squarely at creative professionals. This model could feature a 12-core CPU, a performance plus for efficiency, up to 22 GPU cores, support for 64 gigabytes unified memory, faster SSD controllers, dual Thunderbolt 5 ports for high-speed data transfer. The M5 Pro Mini would essentially sit between the M5 Mac Mini and the M3 Mac Studio, a mini studio for those who want top-tier performance in a smaller form factor. It's likely Apple will design the Pro version with an enhanced cooling system, maybe a larger internal fan assembly, or even a passive heat plate design similar to the Mac Studio chassis architecture. Design and build refine minimalism. Apple's 2024 redesign of the Mac Mini was a major milestone, and the M5 version isn't expected to change dramatically in appearance. However, Apple might introduce small tweaks for functionality and heat management, possibly adding a new aluminum vent mesh, refined port alignment, and more efficient airflow channels to keep the system cool under prolonged load. The Mini will likely continue to offer two Thunderbolt 4 slash USB-C ports two USB-A ports, HDMI 2.1 with 8K support, Ethernet up to 10 gigabits per second, 3.5 millimeters audio jack. Wireless connectivity could see a bump to Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6.0, bringing faster transfer rates and more stable connections for accessories like the Magic Keyboard, Magic Trackpad, and AirPods Pro 3. Color options could also expand perhaps a new space titanium finish to match Apple's high-end MacBooks and iPhones. AI and Mac OS integration. Apple's 2025 strategy focuses heavily on Apple intelligence. It's AI ecosystem that spans iPhone, iPad, and Mac. With the M5 chips upgraded neural engine, the Mac mini will finally tap into these AI features natively. That means on-device Siri that understands context and multi-step commands. AI writing tools in mail and pages, image generation and smart editing in photos and Final Cut, voice replication and AI summaries built into Mac OS. This integration will turn the M5 Mac Mini into a true AI productivity machine for creators and developers alike. Performance predictions. How fast will it be? Let's talk numbers. Based on internal leaks and industry benchmarks, of M5 engineering samples, the Mac Mini could see. Geekbench 6 single core scores around 4,300 to 4,500. Multi core scores near 20,000 for the standard M5 Mini. Up to 27,000 for the M5 Pro Mini. Those scores would put it on par with Intel's 13th gen i9 processors and even some entry level workstations in a machine that's half the size and uses a fraction of the power. 
For video editing, users could expect real-time playback of multiple 8K ProRes streams in Final Cut Pro. No external GPU needed. Developers would benefit from shorter compile times in Xcode and faster containerized builds when using Docker or virtual machines. Sustainability and environmental focus. Apple continues to push for carbon neutrality across its Mac lineup. The M5 Mini is expected to feature a recycled aluminum chassis, cobalt-free battery materials, and modular repairability improvements for technicians. Even the packaging will shift toward 100% recyclable paper materials, removing plastics completely by 2026. Energy efficiency is also a key talking point. The M5 Mini could use up to 30% less power under load than the M4 model while delivering significantly higher performance. Release date and launch timeline. Now for the big question. When will the M5 Mac Mini actually launch? Apple's release cycle is currently in transition. In 2025, the company is prioritizing the iPad Pro M5 and Vision Pro M5 updates first, both expected in mid-2025. That means the M5 Mac Mini might not arrive until late 2025 or early 2026. Some analysts even suggest Apple could skip the M5 Mini entirely and jump straight to M6 in 2026 to align with the next MacBook Pro generation. However, a late 2025 launch remains the most realistic scenario, likely around October or November, in line with Apple's usual desktop refresh window. Pricing Expectations Apple is known for keeping its pricing consistent even as performance improves, so expect the base M5 Mac Mini to start at $599 US dollars, the same as the M4 model, but now with 512 gigabytes of storage as standard. The M5 Pro Mini could start around $999 US dollars and scale up to $1,799 US dollars for maxed out configurations with 64 gigabytes RAM and 4 terabytes SSD. Considering the performance and AI integration you're getting, that would still make the Mac Mini one of the best value desktops in Apple's entire ecosystem. Final thoughts. The future of small form factor computing. The Mac Mini has always been the unsung hero of the Mac lineup. It doesn't get the spotlight of the MacBook Pro or the fanfare of the iMac, but it's arguably the most flexible and cost-effective Mac Apple has ever made. The M5 generation will continue that legacy pushing the boundaries of what a tiny desktop can do, blending raw power with AI-driven efficiency, and delivering a machine that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with tower PCs many times its size. Whether you're a developer, designer, music producer, or casual Mac user, the M5 Mac Mini looks set to be a game-changer, a perfect fusion of performance, portability, and future-proof design. And as Apple moves toward a world of AI-powered Mac OS experiences, this tiny desktop may well become the heart of the next generation creative workspace.